All right, we still will be staying with Jeff Reimbahn. This time around, he brings you this special edition of George Khaniri, the Vihiga senator, who is one of the longest serving politicians in the 12th parliament. He was first elected to parliament in 1998 and is now serving sixth and final term, having inherited the leadership from his late father, Nicodemus Khaniri. And in our weekly segment of Beyond the Norm, our reporter Jeff Reimbahn brings you the political journey of George Khaniri. Just uh, they say time waits for no man but one. George Haniri seems to have found a way to twist the clock. Uh, George Haniri, who is the Vega County Senate, is a man to reckon with, but has taken politics as a career. Many hear of this man, but very few do understand him. My father is well known. Uh, he was a member of parliament for uh, a Missy constituency, yeah. and of course, uh, a prominent businessman. Uh, uh, back at home, but uh, that is uh, my humble beginnings. Khaniri, uh, who is the former member of parliament for Hamisi, inherited the seat from his late father Nicodemus Khaniri. Uh, the late Nicodemus Khaniri died of a heart attack in the year 1974 as he was opening the new residence of our constituent Dr. Tom Molusa. Uh, the vocal legislator says he could not manage to attend uh, those prestigious schools despite his father being a member of parliament. His first school was Kapsoi Primary School before proceeding to Chavakali High School. Of course, uh, the primary school I went to, people yeah. didn't put on shoes, so we couldn't be the, the old ones uh, out putting on shoes. Yeah. So we went barefoot to school. It was very normal. Uh, that is where I was born. Uh, I, was, uh, I went to school with my peers, people that uh, we grew up with, people that uh, we, we went through the circumcision in session with, and uh, we bonded. With little savings from here and there, Khaniri was likely to proceed with his studies abroad. After which, uh, my father sent me to, I got admission to the U.S. in the United States of America, in New Jersey, Jersey City State University, where I was pursuing uh, a degree in economics. However, things got murkier when his father passed on, forcing him to cut short of his studies. I was doing my second year when my father passed on, and I came back to Kenya, and uh, the people of Hamisi decided to elect me as their member of parliament. So it was difficult for me to continue with that program in the US. So I eventually enrolled uh, in a local university here, the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Quea, where I uh, studied uh, political science. George Haneri is the sixth member of parliament for Hamisi, other positions he has served include being an assistant minister of information and communication in the year 2008, assistant minister of agriculture from the year 2003 to 2004. He also held the assistant minister for agriculture and rural development in the year 1999 to 2002 and assistant minister for public works in the year 1998 until 1999. I served as a member of parliament for Hamisi constituency in the 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th uh, uh, parliament. That makes it six terms in total. I do not know any other member who has uh, served uh, 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 six terms. I think my term here is now expired. Uh, I also double up now as a, a commissioner of the Parliamentary Service Commission. As the longest serving member of parliament in the 12th parliament, Haniri has been endowed with a number of responsibilities. Yes, you know now, uh, I told you um, I double up as a commissioner, yes. a position that I was given in uh, uh, February this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you, uh, that commission is a full-time job. It is the commission that runs this institution in all aspects. Uh, besides being the commissioner. And on top of that, of course, I was uh, given the responsibility of chairing the, uh, the commission uh, committee on security and development. So it is a full-time job. Uh, we oversee the security of this place. We oversee all this development you see happening around. Uh, it is under my docket. So we get to the office uh, quite early. This is 2018, but George Haner is still put, having seen many come and go. He is now called the father of the house in the Senate. I still, up to now, it is now 20 something years ago, but I still hold the record as uh, of the youngest ever MP. Nobody else has been uh, <laughs> elected that young in, uh, in Parliament. Of course, I felt very young, but uh, I had to take on the, on the challenge because it was the decision of the people. 
and I said I will uh, step into the shoes. Ghaniri's political journey has been largely successful due to his abrasiveness and ability to convince the masses, but most importantly, lack of a worth challenger. I met the expectations, the people of Hamisi, uh, in terms of uh, uh, initiating of development projects. When I was elected to parliament, uh, the whole of Hamisi had only 26 or 25 secondary schools. I increased that number to 38. I started 13 new secondary schools where we had to start from the scratch, buy land, build classrooms, even before CDF. Uh, of course, with CDF, then it was easier. He is serving his sixth term in parliament, but like a cat with nine lives, Haneri is likely to go for the top seat come 2022. This is the sixth term, four terms in the National Assembly, two terms in the Senate. Seventh term? No seventh term for me. <laughs> I think I have uh, done my bit in Parliament. I have uh, told my people as much. He says he has done a lot in Parliament and now it is time to venture into a new political arena come 2022, which he is yet to announce. That I have never said anywhere. Uh, you can check all the records. Yes. I've never stood on any platform <laughs> to say that I want to, to declare that I want to be a governor. I have mimi nataka kuwa tumikia kama senator. Why are you restricting me to governor? I may want to become the president of the Republic of Kenya. I may want to become the deputy president. Apart from a well-paying job, the veteran politician also boasts of a beautiful family. So Jihaniri is a serious family man. I have a family, a wife and uh, many children. Where I come from, you don't count children. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I started my family quite early. My wife and I got married uh, uh, just the time I came to parliament. He says he is the father at home and not a politician. Ukiwa nyumbani unaitwa daddy. Awaniiti mheshimiwa. Ukiwa nyumbani mambo ya mheshimiwa ina inakwisha na uko nje nyumbani wewe ni baba, daddy. Aside from the political arena, George Haneri is a footballer who has on many occasions played for the Kenya members of parliament football team, also known as Bunge FC. Yes, uh, soccer is my game. I played soccer in high school. I played for Bunge FC until we started getting uh, younger MPs. We used to play with um, the former Prime Minister, Kina Raila Odinga, Kina yeah, James Urengo, and so forth. That's, uh, yeah. And to keep his body fit, he regularly attends to the gym. Not really. In fact, I'm thinking I'm so unfit, but I, I do gym. I'm one of the frequent uh, visitors to the parliamentary gym. So I do gym and uh, uh, sometimes I also uh, walk in my estate where I live uh, in the evenings where, when I, whenever I get home early. And Haniri has this final message for the people of Vihiga. Oh my, I love those people. I want to say that um, uh, I do not take it for granted that uh, you have given me this opportunity to serve you. For the people of Higa, you've granted me the second opportunity, the second term to serve you as your senator. I do not take that for granted. According to Haniri, leadership is not about a title or designation. It's all about impact, influence and inspiration. For beyond the norm, I'm Jeff Haimba. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Jeff Kaimba. On that, we break for 